Hey everybody, we're back with classroom setup. I want to say this is like day six, maybe, but I'll probably just label this as finishing touches because I'm doing lots of little things here and there. I wanted to show you guys around because my desk looking like a hot disaster. Let me show y'all. All right, first off, we have the board. Now, I did notice a couple of comments saying that my date was a little too small, which I don't know why because the date worked really well on my previous whiteboard, so I don't know if it's like the size that's kind of messing it up. I did decide yesterday to redo my calendar. So here is the previous one and then here is the new one. The only difference is that Wednesday, unfortunately, because it's so big, you know, it's a big word, it kind of looks smaller, it kind of looks a little weird, but the other days are fine. Plus, and I'll show y'all that in just a second, you know, I kind of wanted the kids, if they were to sit here, with the camera it's a little different but you can kind you can definitely see a lot more of the bigger size than the little size i'm not sure if you guys can see that maybe if i focus on it well it definitely looks a lot more better like in person than on the camera okay so let me show you <laughs> look at this look at this craziness so i came into my classroom today and i saw a whole bunch of supplies dropped off we have a whole bunch here so let me introduce you to these first now i'm not sure i think this says a uh, black marble composition book so that's what's in there we and then they say that there's more supplies on the way so these are folders we have this box this box and i'm pretty sure these two boxes are notebooks as well we have i went to target i couldn't find any more of the black bins but i did buy four of the white so i'm gonna move here's my plan i'm gonna bring those two that are right there and i'm gonna use those for my library and then these four are gonna be for my desk because i do like black and white to kind of keep everything you know neutral i would say we have what are these i think these are markers and then like erasers we have line paper again all of this is from the school and then they say there's more coming i'm gonna give these <laughs> to my partner teacher because i don't like this brand i might give them one more try but honestly i think this brand just sucks because i've had experience with that and they just break super easily they gave us a whole bunch of sticky notes tape expo white board care dry erase markers erasers a whole bunch of scissors a whole bunch of glue uh, we got dry erase markers whole bunch of crayons more glue glue galore we do have like paper clips for the teachers we have like tape here we have staples which i was totally running out of so thank goodness for that these are mine by the way and then pretty much down here oh they also gave us a lot of notepads so we have three yeah so we have like a notebook a notepad and like another notepad and then these are like my extra days hold on i don't know if you guys can hear that let me turn my fan off sorry about that so what i'm gonna do now oh here are my labels they're over here i already put tape on them i just need to like um put them on just because i they were you know because they're white they do get a little bit dirtier quicker so i went ahead and just cleaned them with a lysol wipe here is my district computer uh it's dead right now but tomorrow when i come in for a contract day i want to go ahead and see if i can connect that to the promethean board so my plan is to put everything away because i cannot stand looking at that that's super crazy i'm here for about one more hour but here are a couple of new additions we have my beautiful sticker store it's gorgeous it's gorgeous and then here is my calendar so because i did decide to increase the font so this is like 2.5 and i want to say like that's three or 3.5 i want to say so obviously it could not fit in one single cabinet like all the way up and down so i had to split it into two but it looks pretty nice and then i did i read all of your comments about the rules so i did decide to put them here and then 
there is where I put my little pencil but I think it's really nice I try to put them like right there in the middle because this is where I'll primarily be teaching this is what the kids will see so I want the rules to be right here so that way they can see it no matter where they look at me right between the Promethean board and then right between the whiteboard I think that looks really nice I might want to space them out a little bit more but I don't want to put them too low to the floor I only have like that much space left I did change my label so I put world markers instead of I think I had world crayons because I'm going to mix the world crayons with the bins I did get another bin from Hobby Lobby so that's all good to go let's see what else all right and then here is the biggest change y'all I was here for about an hour and a half yesterday and this is pretty much what I was spent doing. This is the computer cart but guys it was like disgusting like dust. I don't think they've ever cleaned it possibly. I can't even open it because all of this will fall. Hold on maybe I can show y'all. But like it was disgusting. Oh they're falling. It was gross. It was nasty. It was full of dust and debris and I even think I saw a cockroach in there once. <laughs> Like a tiny a bit so and then down here the cords were just all over the place it was disorganized I was like oh no so I knew that my classroom was pretty much like 90% ready so I kind of wanted to take the time that I had to like first of all take everything out I wish I had taken a picture of it I took everything out all the cords everything the, all the extension cords everything I wiped down everything from here inside i even had my vacuum i vacuumed everything and then i decided to kind of do a little bit of cord management actually i left this unfinished and then somebody came and actually like plugged them all back together i plugged them in and i put them like in the baskets but i didn't actually like reach in like you can kind of see like like i left the computers like on the floor and the cords like out so i'm pretty sure someone came in and actually did that for me but i did put them like in the bin i did want it to go to heb to get like another one of these bins but it's okay i just used one of those so that looks so much better i'm super happy about that i also made a label for my sub bin so this is where three days worth of sub plans are going to go and then I also did get another one of these large flip tops. So now I have nine, not uh, three, three, three. And then I still have room to grow, but I'm just going to wait until I actually need it to buy any more. All right, so I'm going to turn the fan back on because I'm sweating. Uh, tomorrow is the official first day of contract. So they'll turn the air back on then, or at least like, you know, put a little bit lower. But I'm going to go ahead and clear off my desk, put things where they belong, and let's go ahead and do another montage. Let's put the labels on and then get to organizing.
hey everybody we're back today is friday august the 4th it is the first day of contract so the first day i actually get paid so woohoo for that um today's like a work day teacher work day the principal just let us work in our classrooms and good thing because <laughs> ta-da so let me go ahead and give an explanation here hold on the back is strong in this video i am so lucky to be in a district where the district provides approved books for us like all of these books that you see right here are district approved and they are given to us completely for our classrooms like you don't have to buy a classroom library because they give you all the picture books all of the chapter books everything that your grade level needs and i am so appreciative like i can't believe that the only problem that i do have with that is that i do have my obviously my own chapter books and picture books there's not like a little check like to see if they're approved but i do kind of have to like not read them but i definitely do have to like skin them or for sure like find a system that checks if there's any like bad language or anything inappropriate because if i see anything like that i have to like chuck it to the side so definitely that's the only thing the my reading like literacy coach they were like just make sure that your chapter books are approved by the district like you don't have like i don't have to like send a list or anything but i definitely just have to check out like if there's anything inappropriate in there so let me go ahead and show you around the room because i have been given a whole bunch of stuff sorry y'all i'm dark over here i have been given a whole bunch of stuff by the school and by the district that it's a little overwhelming and i'm just so glad that i was able to come in um, during last week to set up my classroom because now everyone is trying to set up their classroom and as well as like getting all of these books and all of these supplies and all of these like manipulatives and i'm just kind of like kind of like not so overwhelmed as the other people so let me go ahead and show you around so we're gonna start here in the back corner we have all of the crayon bins you guys saw me do that those are all ready to go all of the bins are ready to go i sharpened all of the color pencils these are colors of the world color pencils and these are regular color pencils so these are all sharpened and ready to go i don't have any world markers like color of the world marker so i need to put that on the supply list and here are all of the books oh sorry backlit backlit I mean guys let me give you a closer look just how much my district provides like look at these these are all chapter books there's some level readers in here there's all these books there's popular like and there are some like really popular like i saw some really nice um like where was one cam jansen like it's just amazing it's crazy like this book is filled this bin is filled look oh my god <laughs> that is incredible i am in disbelief how much the school provides like oh my god y'all now <laughs> because i'm me I am going to go ahead and fix these labels because some of them are just hanging on by a piece of tape. So I'm going to make my own labels. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me turn that off. So like I was saying, I am going to make my own labels. And I do love that they are all right here because we are expected to do book shopping. So the kids every couple of weeks, I think like two, two and a half weeks, they have to come up and they actually have to find a book based on their level but this actually fits like perfectly like oh my goodness it is perfect tight perfect fit it's amazing right here it's accessible it's a perfect level to their eyes so like i said i'm gonna make my own labels i'm gonna fix them up i'm gonna keep the same label so that way at the end of the school year if they want their original label i can just you know stick it back on there and there you go no problem i did have to move these bins 
I, I'm probably just going to put them in the closet for now because I don't even know what to do with them. I originally was going to use this for like, you know, coloring sheets or connect the dots, you know, like fun activities. And then this one was going to be like line paper um, or um, extra printer paper just for like coloring sheets. I was going to put like construction paper in here so the kids can do like arts and crafts. So I might still do that, but I might have to move it like in that corner right there. All right, let's move on. I still, so this was the original cards, this one, and then there's the other one right here. So that is the original cards, but I did ask like, hey, this is like pretty chunky. Do we have to keep them in our rooms? They say no, you don't have to, but for sure I would keep them in the bins. I mean, they say like you can put them in your library if they fit but i'm telling you now this would not fit in the library <laughs> so i think this is the perfect solution they just say yeah you just have to like make sure they're organized make sure that you kind of keep them in the same like area because they're already labeled you don't have to label um just make sure you keep them organized but no you don't have to keep the any of the uh cards so i'm gonna go ahead and return this to the storage closet Let's go ahead and give you an update because I know yesterday I left um, pretty abruptly, so I apologize for that. I need to put these uh, picture books in the appropriate bins. I did change my desk arrangement because I added three more desks, so now I have 20. So we have group of four, group of four, group of four, group of four, and then group of four right there. I added all of my picture books oh hold on all right sorry about that guys so i added all of my picture books all of my picture books here all of my picture books there i added all of my chapter books so those are good to go i added the four white bins from target here i think they go really well with like the clear little poly folders the only thing is <laughs> i lost the last small group i don't know where that went i think i need to print another one but i thought i printed it but i guess i didn't you saw here that i put up the sticker store that's going nice and strong everything here looks the same i took one of these little display and i kind of was like playing with it playing with the size so i kind of made like a little preview of welcome to meet the teacher please sign in so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to like stick it right there somewhere and so that the parents can see. So I have five more to play with. I still need to put these away. I think I've decided to like not use these black bins from Target. I'm just going to put them in my apartment for now. Over in this area, we have some things added to our bulletin board. Now I have a question. Does this look... A little weird let me back up i don't know why i'm getting close does this look a little weird to you guys because in my last bulletin board i actually was able to fit one here and then like another here but i want to say that would look too much so does this look okay to you guys i think it looks fine i think i'm just used to having four rows or columns instead of like three now here is the date i think i talked about this yesterday i decided to change it to the bigger version i'm going to take off the last one. Oh, we have a anchor chart there so i don't know where that's going to go i'm going to see if i can get rid of this and then just move that there i did go ahead and uh staple i did leave the push pins up top just because i was you know i was too lazy but i did staple the bottom and i did go ahead and staple the words to know all right guys so next step in the whole classroom setup and finishing touches is the books let me show you so these books like i said are super amazing the only issue that i have is that one they kind of look like all janky i would love to have like the the chapter books in front and like the picture books at the back so i think i'll do that because there are some where like some like this one is like perfect you see how like the chapter books are in the front and then like it starts to get bigger but you see how like some are like stuck in the middle so i kind of want to organize them by size so like picture books in the back and then like chapter books in the front but i will say these are like dirty you see like look at this ew 
like this thing won't even focus because it's so dirty and gross and nasty so i have plenty of time it's currently let's see what time it is it's currently 11 oh okay never mind it's currently 11 so i'm gonna go ahead and spend about 30 minutes you know um taking these out and then cleaning them with the lysol wipe and then like the lysol spray and then i'm gonna go ahead and go to lunch at 12 and then just resume and making sure this <laughs> classroom is ready to go i'm still deciding to put some display like some decor stuff i think i'm going to use these that i have and i'm actually going to put some on the cabinet doors i think that'll look really nice i think i've decided what to do with my bulletin board we do have to have like a grammar wall a word wall so that is what i'm primarily going to use it for so i'm just going to wait until the first couple of weeks of school to kind of like really do this bulletin board but so far here is a glimpse of the classroom this is what it looks like looking super nice oops super backlit i'm sorry y'all yeah looking really great okay so let me go ahead and get started with cleaning all of those bins Let me take a breather oh my god that took uh an hour and a half oh look how pretty the sunlight is it looks beautiful the only one i have to work on is the m because like the m is just so overflowing with chapter books that it's kind of like a tight squeeze so i want to figure out what to do with that um the the yellow and the green bins are the same with like the little dividers but for some reason the blue bins are like just open i actually think i prefer the blue bin so but they're the same size which is fortunate so at least they're the same size they match perfectly it's just like with the weird dividers, so i don't know why they chose 
differently but it is currently 12 18 i'm gonna go ahead and go to lunch i was gonna go at 12 but then i was like this probably lunch rush hour so i was like let me just wait a little bit longer luckily there's a whole bunch of like fast food like i saw wendy's i saw mcdonald's i saw whataburger burger king so definitely my area where the school is is um, a lot populated with lots of restaurants and fast food places and then when i come back i'm just gonna do a lot of cleaning up we can stay here till five but most likely i'll stay till like four maybe three forty five just to kind of wrap it up because <laughs> i'm tired you guys saw me clean you guys saw me um you know wipe then i was actually um because some of them like the yellow ones were really dirty but like the green and the blue ones weren't as dirty so what i decided to do was because i was having a tough time with the clorox wipe i decided to, there's like a water fountain here and so well not a water fountain but like a place to wash your hands and it was it's open so it's i can easily fit the bin underneath it and I actually washed everything and then i dried it with the paper towel so that was actually a lot better than <laughs> cloroxing everything so let me go ahead and show you let me go to lunch and let me return because i am tired so let's go oh, here is what it looks like now oops i forgot to <laughs> hold on hold on hold on <laughs> so what i actually decided to do was and this one has it too what i actually decided to do is not all of them have labels but some of them like this one i actually just decided to turn it um upside down or not upside down but like backwards so that way the label is still there but i can put my own labels just on the back of the actual thing so that we don't have to like take care of the labels make sure to put them in a nice little container or something so this one um i gotta fix the chapter books but this one would be like this so there you go so now i would put my label but here we go so as you can see the blue ones like i said they don't have the divider but these do like you see how they have the divider here so that's interesting so i decided to put the chapter books like that and then oh i'm out of breath y'all and then here we go the beautifulness here's the m's <laughs> they're just so <laughs> they're just overflowing so i need to fix these two but everything else they look super nice Jay pretty much has like absolutely nothing which is understandable because you know we're trying to get kids to move up in levels but guys like basically basically this is like my classroom library <laughs> times two this is crazy so like I said I put all of the picture books in the back and then all of the chapter books in the front so I think that looks so super nice and amazing i'm still gonna have my two there and my two blue bins there so everything else i need to put away i need to throw that away i used a whole bunch of <laughs> tissues and lysol wipes oh oh shoot i forgot to put those okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'll just come back um but oh but i, I was i actually did a uh, little cute little surprise thank you mr um Parker. i actually found it so that's like the little cute little surprise that i i found oh my goodness so that's what it looks like and so i just need to go ahead and go around and pretty much like put everything away these are composition notebooks i'm gonna put them in this supply cabinet so this will be like a supply cabinet so as you can see i already start putting line paper here and then i'll move these i'll probably move them up here or i'll move them in that cabinet and then this will be like a whole bunch of compositions notebooks line paper printer paper all that fun stuff and if i need more space i do have that space up there but i also have let me show you I still have more space like back there i don't know if y'all i can't see that at all but more space back there i do have this space so this is probably where i'll put like the printer paper like packs of printer paper i have plenty of space back here and then obviously i have this space this one, the only problem is that this space is so high and it's so deep that i would have to get a chair to reach anything back there okay 
So, like I said, it's 12.30. I'm gonna go ahead and go to lunch. And then when I come back, we're gonna deal with putting this away, clearing the tables, the groups, and then putting those picture books back where they belong.
I love my name up there because I want, you know, the kids to see me up there. And plus, if I'm ever here for whatever reason, they can see my name from up top. I just, I feel there's something missing here, something missing here. I mean, I could cricket white letters, even mm, colorful letters. I'm not sure. I barely cricketed the white letters. I could make them bigger, but oh, I see someone coming. Hold on, y'all. Let me get in front of the camera. I think oh, we, we were kind of like talking about it. I think that's nice if I put some like Baby Yoda posters or that might look too busy. If I like raise them up, I do think that's too small. The Ms. Blanco. Plus, I think it's crooked. <laughs> so I gotta fix that. I don't know. Let me guys know what you think. I could do the cricket like, like the white letters like there. Oh, I, I don't know. Those, those felt letters used to be perfect my last three years. And now they're driving me insane. Okay, so I have a ton more felt letters here. This one says inspire like them. And this one says Miss Blanco. Because here is the next thing that I did. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. So these are free. I had these my second year. There's one more right there. I had these my second year on the door. I'll put a picture if I can, but they look super amazing. The title inspire like them was gonna go up there. I might have to shift them down in order to make them even i didn't want to go all the way to the bottom just because i you know kind of looked a little funky so that's what that looks like let's give you a quick recap of the day okay we have oh my goodness uh the this one i decided to put crayon so whenever the kids bring their crayon boxes i'll just put the rest in there here we have a whole bunch of school supplies so i have dry um dry erase boards but because i already have a set there i just decided to like put the new ones pencils that i'm not going to use line paper notebooks and then composition books perfect to go here i put all of the crayons in the bin so they're all good to go each of them has probably like i would say eight you know eight um blues eight browns eight blacks so stuff like that so i won't have to replenish them till probably like december january bins are all ready to go we sharpened all of the color pencils nice to go these are pretty much all brand new so i didn't have to sharpen any of them i don't have any markers but i'm going to put some on my amazon wish list if you guys want to donate some I put dry erase markers here, erasers. Um, I need to buy the thick ones. No, I have some, so don't worry about that. And then the school provided dry erase thin markers. As you know, this was like the majority of my, oh my God, of my time, but they are all organized. They are all cleaned. They look gorgeous guys i'm super excited like these are amazing camp jansen we have so many books here nancy drew um let's see what else i can find that's like really popular we have like the a to z mysteries we have let's see what else i can find da, 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 judy bloom a to z mysteries i mean look at all these books uh amber brown jigsaw mysteries uh let's see what else again A to Z mysteries a whole bunch of A to Z mysteries who was steve jobs sacajuia uh whatever you guys get the joke <laughs> you guys get the idea of like boxcar i've never heard of this um series but uh, there's a lot of them in here like right it's crazy how many books there are here absolutely insane beverly clearly crazy so all of these books are for book shopping so the kids can take them home and then read them and then you know bring them back every half a uh, week and a half again the desk look amazing these again are like the anchor charts i did put one like on the new one this one they said i can throw away so on monday i'm gonna throw the oh hi sorry 
Sorry about that guys, the janitor came and <laughs> took out the trash so that was a little awkward. He saw me talking to a camera. I did go ahead and put these all the right side up so those are good to go. I need to put this in like the planning room or just put it back in my car because it's annoying to have here and there's not a good place to put this other than like the planning room. Okay, so nothing else here. I told you guys yesterday about my rules. I might just either shift them or make them bigger so that way they look a little bit more fuller. Still deciding whether to keep these. Oh, somebody suggested to move this into there. So I will do that on Monday or right before I leave. Okay, here, I think I told you guys about this. <laughs> the janitor kind of, the, not the janitor, the custodian kind of uh, messed me up here. So again, let me know about this. I either I'm gonna put Ms. Blanco very large or put posters or something there that will, you know, make me feel better about this. Again, I put all of my picture books, all of my chapter books, good to go. I don't like that there's so much empty space, but I am not going to like mix any of those books because those are from the school and these are all my personal books. So we'll just have to deal with it. Maybe I'll put like decorations down here to kind of fill it up. So let me guys know about that as well. We have all of this trash guys i love double-sided tape this is what i use um you can get these off of amazon but it's such a hassle to like peel the backing off of it because it's so strong all right we've done a couple more things here we did the words and no i stapled everything and we did i chose the ones that i thought were really good for the start of the school year so there we go i got these off of tpt for like nine bucks and they were such a hassle to like print them cut them laminate them cut them again and then here i know you guys were talking about like a calming corner so i don't have like you know all the posters and like all the cute stuff and all the fidget toys but i do have some posters these are what i used my first year and I did run these by the counselor and she approved them. And like I said, I will use like my pink bear and like my little um, tiger there. If they want to come over here and they can read these and just calm down and then just hug the little stuffed animals, they can. So that's like the calming corner. And if they want a drink of water, they can get a drink of water to cool off. Okay, so nothing else there. And pretty much that's it. I'm going to take this stuff home. I'm going to throw that in the trash because now that I know I'm keeping the bigger font for my calendar, that's good to go. And then here, I don't think I did anything. No, I just put those two up to make room for like the supplies. But pretty much everything else is perfectly similar. I need to figure out where to put the little reef. I mean, I could put it like here. I don't know. I think that would look a little funky. And then I need to like make a new label for that because I lost that one. So here is the end of classroom setup slash finishing touches. Obviously, we still have a little bit left to do. So classroom setup is like never truly done. I just got to figure out where to put the sharpener. This one, you can tell like this one doesn't sharpen very well. So I'm going to stick that to color pencils. This one sharpens very well. This was amazing. This one I'm going to use for sharpened pencils when that one no longer works. I have a whole bag of crayon. These crayons are for like emergency crayons. Like when a kid runs out of a specific color and there's no more, you know, of that color. I'll just use the emergency bag. Other than that, we are good to go. Let me show you the classroom. Oh my goodness, guys. I am just so tired. Oh, one thing I need to do is I need to label the inside of the bins or outside of the bins so I can make my own labels. We are looking good, y'all. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. We are still continuing with classroom setup. I thought I'd be done, but I'm not. 
Uh, oh, by the way, the maintenance guy, not maintenance, I'm talking to the custodian, he took away the, the trifle thing, so now I just have this one. So yay for that. He said that, yeah, we can just um, put it in storage or we can send it to another school. But yeah, like, though he said, like, those are pretty old. He said that, like, those have been here for, like, 10 years. So, and then that's why they bought, like, the new ones, the, the white ones. So yay for that. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go. Oh, fuck it, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and go home. Oh my goodness. Today is Friday, so um, I'm gonna relax this weekend because the next week it's a full week of professional development. Then I have the reading academy. Then I have, you know, have to learn all of the routines and expectations. And I have to, you know, learn the schedule. And I have to plan for the first week of school. And oh my god so for sure it's gonna be crazy but i'm excited i'm nervous but i know that i have support i have you guys so keep subscribing keep liking keep commenting i read them all and i will see you guys in the next video but before i let you guys go let me go ahead and take a measurement of those bins let me move the six tower thingy and then we'll get out of here All right, y'all, four that way. No, four <laughs> height and then eight horizontally. So don't let me forget it, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see y'all.